Hey everybody, today I'm unboxing another Sherlock Holmes DVD. This time, this is the Definitive Collection, and it's a double bill set. So it contains two movies instead of just one. Now you can get this for two for 10 or five for 20 from HMV, or if you just want to buy it on your own, pick it up for $5.99. On the back as well, it seems pretty standard. From this, I'm getting it's black and white, so there's no coloured intentional throughout it. And I quite like those type type of um, films. Some people hate them because they they grew up in a time where coloured it has to be a thing in movies. It can't be black and white like it used to be. I miss those days of the old fashioned films, the old effects they did and all that. So I'm actually gonna look forward to watching this more than any other film because you could, I could see all the effects that were happening at the time that were very, very good for the time, but now obsolete, which I really hate how people look at things like that. Uh, but the first movie is The Hound of Bakersville. The Hound of Bakersville was part of a the Sherlock BBC series. So I can't wait to watch um, this adaptation of it. And then Sherlock Holmes and the Voice of Terror. Now that just screams like horror, jump scares and all that. So that's gonna be look really fun for me to watch. So let's get into this one and let's run ravel. Now normally I go for the sides, but you know, this looks, cause I'm seeing these little tiger lines down here. You won't be able to see on the camera. But those tiger lines, if you peel from one end, it comes off already like this, like tissue paper. And I think some DVDs do have them intentionally, but others don't. If all DVDs had like shrink wrap like that, so it's easy to peel off, it'd be less stress for everyone, but less entertaining for our viewers, because people like to see me struggle on DVDs. But when I get one off very easily, it's like, yeah, I got one on you, uh, assholes. Um, oh, I can't wait to look inside. Is it gonna be two discs or one? Oh, it's one disc. And wow, well, this is very plain and basic. I really hate how they do this, but then again, at the same time, it's a double disc. So in my mind, I've got to think, okay, I can accept this one because it's two films in one. I would hate it if they had to merge both images over each other or have like a straight line separating them. That would irritate me. So this, I can understand for doubles, but when it's a single movie and they do this, no effort, Pff, get the fuck out of it. But yeah, that's the Sherlock Holmes definitive collection. Double bill, which contains two movies for the price of one. Hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And turn on notifications by ticking that bell to keep up to date when I post more videos for my channel. And I'll see you in the next unboxing. But until then, take care.